The Bank and General Workers Union and representatives from Republic Bank Grenada Limited met with Labor Minister Claudette Joseph on Thursday to discuss the circumstances that led to the bank's employees taking industrial action for the last six working days. The meeting came approximately three days after the Labor Minister responded to the bank's request for recommendations she made during a mediation meeting on March 13th to be provided in written form. The recommendations seek to bring a resolution to the dispute over salary increases in a new collective agreement for the period January 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2022. According to the President General of the Bank and the General Workers Union, Joseph Mitchell, the bank claimed that they did not yet have the chance to assess the minister's recommendations, which it confirmed it received on Monday. The worker's last salary increase, he said, was January 1, 2019. The minister is recommending 12.25% in salary increases over a four-year period. They, they said they didn't... Um have time to assess it, but they believe that it was excessive and there were some conversation along those lines. Um, the minister then asked, um, you know, if there was something that they could have put on the table that could have brought an end to the uh, strike today. Basically, what they have put on the table is the, literally the last position as to what they thought salary increases were or should be. Mitchell further explained the proposals made around the negotiating table. When we went to the Ministry of Labor, the union position for salary increases, and that has been the stumbling block salary increases, of 15% over a three-year period. 5% for year one, 5% for year two, and 5% for year three. The minister is making a recommendation of 12.25% um, for four years when they just have agreed to pay 13% <laughs> over three years. So we were at 15%. At the bank then had the position at 5%. And so year one, 1%, year two, 1%, and year three, 3%. He accused the bank of using articles that were previously agreed to at the bilateral level as a bargaining chip during Thursday's meeting. They agreed that the articles were acceptable to them that they have committed to it, but for some reason, they are using these settled articles as a bargaining chip, in my opinion, to settle salaries. That ought not to be. There were two separate sets of, of uh, discussions at different levels. The workers ought to enjoy the articles uh, uh, that has been settled at, at the bilateral level with no further delay, right? Because once you continue to delay it, uh, it's time sensitive, it's uh, causing a bottleneck and obviously it's actually denying the workers benefits that they should have actually gotten right now. According to the first vice president of the Bank and the General Workers Union, the bank continues to be a highly profitable financial institution in Grenada, making over $24 million after tax profit between 2020 and 2022. For the year 2020, the bank made $7.11 million for the year 2021, $6.81 million for the year 2022, $10.4 million. For the years we're speaking about 2021 and, 2021 and 22, a total profit of $24.32 million was realized by the bank over that period. And that's after tax That's profit. after tax profits. And, and basically what we are asking therefore is just going to come up to $1.4 million over the three years. So you do the math. The union met with its members on Friday to provide an update on the situation. The President General says they will not budge until the matter is resolved. The union is left with no choice but to continue and possibly intensify protest action, which commenced last week Thursday. All attempts to reach out to the communications manager at Republic Bank for verification of these developments on Friday proved futile. When she last spoke to GBN News earlier this week, she referred our news team to the press release issued by the bank. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.